All right, y'all, so just doing a quick video. Um, so I acquired a green iguana. Um, so the person I got it from, it wasn't, I guess not technically a rescue, but they were moving and they couldn't take it. I have experience. Uh, and so they said, hey, you can, you know, if you can take care of it, you can have it. So I'm just going to give you all a quick little rundown of what I have going on so far, uh, what's to come with it. Um, I guess there's any pointers, uh, cause I'm no expert and <laughs> I just know how to do it. Uh, so this is the setup. That's Dory. Um, she's an iguana, like an average iguana. She's not really like overly aggressive, but she doesn't know me. She's actually calmed down. I've had her probably four days now. Um, oh well, yeah, just quick rundown. Sorry for the, the mess that is going on in here, but she has the whole corner of the room. Um, extends all the way up. So, of course, uh, if you have a cage or something, you're going to need at least something that's like seven feet by four by at least three, in my opinion. Um, but I prefer to, you know, it, I've, I tried to build the cage and it is so much easier to just let this guy free roam. So that's what we're doing. Um, so it's not a hundred percent step back some so you can see the whole thing so we're not a hundred percent still gonna have another shelf going up about right here uh gonna bring that light down just a little bit uh intensify my heat a little bit more um and then add just some more shrubbery on here very fur to feel safe um so for lights that is just the led light yeah Cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's gonna end up being a uh, another heat light, heat lamp. Lamp. Uh, this is the uh, this is gonna be the other UVB. I had to take it out. Uh, I was joking around, but this is something that I do recommend people getting. Uh, let me just try to take this off here. Um. So these are, this is just an adapter. So if you don't want to have to put a whole bunch of different lights everywhere, you can just get an adapter, screw that in, and now you have two lights. Um, no, this is not what I'm running. This is just me playing around. Um, and then even just the little plug adapter. So if you have one roaming on the ground, you can just come in. Uh, yeah, just come plug it in. Um, that's a mercury uh, vapor bulb uh, those, those little three in one bulbs uh, so those are $50 yeah um, please be prepared to pay replace that every I would say six months or you know no more than six months that's what I would say um, so these little wooden parts right here that's just uh, out my closet I redid my closet so I just took those put them together all these branches and stuff he came with that um, I ended up breaking that branch and putting it together as one so I can have one long thing it is holding perfectly and I love it actually because it's actually pretty tall it's probably about eight feet up um, oh yeah space heater um, what brand is that uh, heat dish so, uh, I'm going to end up getting a better one, but this is what we already had. Like I said, I've only had them for like three days, so uh, I'm still getting some extra things together that I, I feel I want. Um, space heater isn't going to be an everyday thing, but I would prefer to, um, I would just prefer to be able to heat up uh, this side, uh, just because... My vent is right there. And so, uh, every house, as you can see, has two air conditioning units. So, we have very good air here. So, when someone cuts the air on in this house, it gets pretty cold. So, I just went ahead and got the space heater, set it up on, on her. She seems to love it. Um, the owner said it was a female. Uh, they said they had her since she was a baby. Oh, she's probably not fucking with me being around here, but that's cool. Um, so if anybody knows, hey, you can confirm that's a female, because 
underneath it is just a bit contradictory to me. Uh, let's see if I can. Can you somewhat see? Let's see if I zoom in. Okay, or not. You probably can't see it. Uh, but I was looking at her pores, and they just don't seem, those don't seem what the online seems like. Um, so, salad consists of the basics of squash, different types of greens, uh, and a garden mix that you can get at, um, at the store. The garden mix does have some lettuce in it, but again, the lettuce isn't bad for them. It's just not good for them. So just it's, just don't let that be the whole factor. Um, and then from and then also a uh, melon. And from there, I just go ahead and add in what I feel is you know I want in there as as an everyday basis. So some days I may add in uh, bananas. Some day maybe um, what have I done so far? Uh, blueberries. Uh, Today is apples, if you can see that. Uh, so just a different, most of it, most of it's greens, greens and vegetables though, uh, carrots, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, um, I guess I'm like a little, no, I do have a cat. Um, shouldn't seem to really, she knows she's there, but she just doesn't really seem to care. Or is just too lazy because my cat is pretty fat and I don't think she can make it up there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna end up getting another one of these shelves. And I know this is sticking out. Uh, that's smooth off, so it's not like pointy or anything. Um, but I'm gonna put some hot glue on it just to like cover it up, make it like a little ball or something like that. But I'm gonna end up uh, putting some, at least some. I want to put some fake dirt or something like that up here. Uh, put some light like, glue down. Just like smooth it out and just sprinkle dirt on there just to give it that realistic look. Um, if not that, then I don't know, some bark. At least give it a, a naturalistic look at least. Um, so misting. Um, I missed about three or four times a day. Um, just missed it her before I even did this video. So it's already dried up that quickly, yeah. Um, I will definitely say... The free roaming is not for everybody. Um, I was like, I might live with my parents still. So if you cannot, if you do not have permission to flip your iguana free roam, please don't. Because the bigger, the bigger your iguana gets, the more damage it can do. And not necessarily going around biting you. But if this iguana decided it wanted to climb these curtains and pull this whole thing down, I'm sure it won't bother me, but it'll bother my mom. So you have to... Uh, Make sure you get you want to proof your room. Make sure that you, you know, again have permission. Uh, you know, establish your dominance. Um, I've only had her for three days, so there's no need to establish dominance. Like she's still get acclimated, but about a week, week and a half. Yeah, we're gonna start um, a little bit more uh, taming. Um, I read, I read to her. This is what I read. Yeah, I know, pretty weird, huh? Um, but it's just a book full full of weird jokes, stuff like that, funny jokes. Um, and I just sit here and I read it to her, or I sit here and talk to her, or she'll sit there and watch me play video games like I'm always playing. Um, another thing I would recommend, these guys. That's what I have. That holding on to, that holding on to, that holding on to, and it will be one underneath here to hold this one. Um, you're gonna need a timer. I haven't set my timer up yet, but you're gonna need a timer, um, especially if you're, you know, you're not gonna be able to take off that time every day, or you're not gonna be able to turn it on at the same time every day. You're definitely gonna need a timer. It's just an easy thing to do. Um, so me personally, I grow weed. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff I already kind of had, but if you do not have all this stuff, 
an iguana is going to, you have to make sure you have the money to take care of an iguana. Um, just starting off, food, um, just for the basics, nothing, no, none of the extra fruits in there. Uh, about $15 a week um, is what I'm going to be looking at. So you can do the math on that. Uh, with lights, uh, anyone that's ever grown weed, um, it's really not too much of a different difference on the bill. So um, I don't, I don't really make a big deal about it. But if you are not growing weed, <laughs> you don't have any other lights going on like that, um, then yeah, this is probably gonna shoot your electric bill up. But if you can't find a way, um, LEDs always run um, less cost per month, but the initial investment cost of an LED is going to be super expensive, just as much as a mercury a mercury bulb, if not more, um, for something decent. Uh, but your electricity cost over the month will uh, go down. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so this is just what I use. Uh, I have uh, spiders and stuff, so, um, you know, a lot of this stuff I already kind of have, uh, but I just want to, I'll do a video and a little update on all of them, uh, you know, fish and stuff like that, paludariums, um, but, yeah, she has her corner, she's only came down once or twice, um, First time she came down, my cat popped her head from underneath the bed, um, but it was no issues. Uh, second time she came down, she was down so I looked at her. Well, then once I looked at her, she just walked right back up. So, uh, eating wise, she doesn't eat till nighttime, which I don't understand it. But hey, iguanas are iguanas. Everybody has their own personality. Um, she eats come nighttime, so. The food just kind of sits like that. So all I do, I will. I'm not going to do it a lot because I already did it. But I will just take some of this water and just spray that down a little bit. I don't know if y'all saw that on camera. But I will just spray that down a little bit. Just to at least give it some moisture so it doesn't just completely um, dry up at the end of the night. Uh, you know, I sleep in here. So before I go to bed, just get the get that um, toss in the compost box and a compost pile. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about when it comes to cheapness. So there are ways to be cheap, but you have to understand how to. So again, we can talk about the food. So I have gardens. So again, that initial, like I said, that cost is going to be about $15, um, a week to get certain things. But a lot of the stuff that's in the salad, I grow. Um, if, and if you know about growing greens, um, collard greens, mustard greens, um, turnip greens, they grow tremendously fast. They grow like weeds and they grow a lot. So if you have the space or the room or the um, place to put some greens, plant some greens, that would be the best thing for you to do. So that way you don't have to go to the store and buy greens. And uh, I think, yeah, this shelf is where I'm going to put some plants on this shelf for her, um, including a plant of some greens in case she just feels like, hey, I want some fresh greens like that. Okay, cool. Um, sticks and stuff like this. Another reason I, I allow that free roaming. Um, you don't have to pay for a cage. Um, but again, you are going to need some massive um, sticks and stuff. Uh, all these came with her. But it would not be impossible to go outside and find this. But most people, uh, you know, they're not trying to go out there and look anyway. So... To go buy it, you're going to spend a little bit of money. Um, but again, free roaming is, a, in my personal opinion, a cheaper option. Um, also seems to do less stress on the iguana. Um, I'm going to replace that with a real, with a real hammock. Uh, another way, again, being cheap, uh, that's just some twine that I just wrapped around those little poles um, out my closet. <clears throat> those came with the house. So you can just already imagine, uh, you know, that probably would have cost not too, too much, but it would have cost something. Uh, this piece of wood, um, instead of for going to get an actual, a big old shelf, I just got a piece of wood that I already had, already had brackets, put them up. If not, you can find brackets almost anywhere. Uh, these ones, I want to say they're like 
five dollars at um home depot they have some for like three dollars so they have some for everybody um if you want to make it look fancy they got some for eight eight nine dollars um again the height you're gonna need the height um we have a in this household we have a very very high ceiling um just to that part is probably only i say eight feet but it goes about 15 up so um if i ever felt like going up i could but that's gonna be as high as we get but i'm just gonna cover that more shrubbery because she likes to be uh she likes to sleep inside all those bushes and all those leaves and stuff like that um all these leaves are fake they all are just been you drill a little hole stick it in easy breezy uh, all of this stuff is being held together with little wires and stuff um it's nothing serious that's just a tub of water replace it every day nothing serious um she spilt it but i offer water every day as well so i gotta put some clean that out put some more water in there for her but yeah this is the basic rundown so you are going to need about i would say at least three lights um you're going to need to me this this is my personal uh opinion you're going to need a mercury this, this is the only way you're going to just need just three lights so you're going to need the mercury bulb you're going to need a high power uvb bulb uh, as a secondary spot um and then to me just a regular little not really a basking bulb but something that still provides some heat because at, at um, some point in time i'm gonna end up cutting that off at night um man it's gonna be a huge heat drop i'm gonna cut this off at night it's gonna be a heat drop but i don't want them freezing so the one thing that you're gonna do to keep some heat you find a light up there now that bulb up there is about forty dollars so um if you do want to go that way but if you just want to get a regular heat bulb you can get a regular heat bulb um, they have nocturnal bulbs but you want to keep something so it doesn't freeze because um, in this household uh, my room gets the coldest and the hottest so heat is no issue but cold is an issue um, so I feel like you should always have the one the powerful two and then number three you can have just sitting you know just as a backup because not all that's gonna reach um, even how far she is, she's still not getting the whole thing that she could be getting. But uh, I'm not going to put UVB up there just because she's not going to be. She, she goes up there to sleep. So what's the point of putting UVB up there? So, um, yeah, you're going to need at least three bulbs if you're getting powerful, expensive bulbs. If you're not, you're being a little bit more cheaper. You're probably going to need about, mm, I would say, about five Um again get you some of these so you can buy less of these um yeah that's a, that's really about the rundown i see this video is almost 20 minutes it's longer than i expected um i was just showing you guys my little my little setup it's nothing special um again um her original owner moved away couldn't keep her um in the place he at the place he was moving to so hey you know do you so she's not a rescue she's taken care of very very well um she's very well taken care of comes from a very nice household um very respectable people um they just couldn't in a circumstance take her uh so she's not really a rescue but i guess you can say she's a rescue <laughs> um but yeah any any pointers hey you know like i said i'm no expert um if you guys have any pointers if you guys have any tips um i've thought about the humido you know putting a fogger or humidifier in here the reason i don't want to is because before i had any go on and all that stuff um it used to get real dry in here um like when we first moved in here so i used to have a humidifier and it just kind of like got the walls like a little ick you know and so um and that was over in that corner before the TV and all that stuff was there. So, um, that's another reason I keep the light or like pointing right there is so, um, as I spray onto that wall, like I'll show you, uh, when I spray her down, you know, no matter how I spray her down, 
it's always going to be some that gets off on the walls and stuff. So as you can see, yeah, she's hissing at me. Good old iguanas. So I just give her a good spray down. I usually let it sit for, I let her sit for a few minutes, you know, let that soak up. And then I'll come back in and I'll respray. But even that little bit, uh, oh, I guess the camera won't pick it up. But even that little bit left some stains. Uh, if she's right here, you know, I'm literally spraying right there at the wall. So I want all of that to be gone by in just a few minutes. Keeps from old. So yeah, yes, one thing you do have to worry about when you are free roaming them, you have to worry about real life things, not just things that happen inside of a cage. Um, but yeah, that's that's the little rundown. Again, that's Dory, like on Finding Nemo. Um, you know, like like I said, I'm learning, I'm I'm still learning her personality, but she's she's pretty pretty cool one as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I just haven't attempted to pick her up yet, just because again I've only had her for like three days, but um. At about, I would say in about a week and a half, two weeks, um, you know, I'm just going to come pick her up, <laughs> uh, you know, just assert myself. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm at least during this week and stuff like that, um, making sure she sees me. I'm feeding her, you know, making sure she sees my hand. I'm not a threat. Uh, I sit literally right here and uh, I will I will read to her, uh, just looking at her, reading to her. Um, I will not look her in the eyes just because that's a dominance thing um, and it just alerts, you know, pisses them off. But uh, I usually, that's why I leave some trying to keep her eye in front of that leaf because uh, she's just like staring the fuck out this camera. Um, so, yeah, I'll usually look at her from tip to tip. Uh, she's about three and a half feet. Uh, let's see, where does that tail stop? Yeah, tail stops all the way down there. And pick it all the way back up. There's a lizard. So, uh, two feet tail, one foot lizard. Um, that's how I usually explain it to people. Um, I have nieces and nephews and stuff like that. Um, just like the last iguana. I'm just gonna tell people, oh no, don't touch, don't touch her. She bites. Uh, even if it's not a thing, it just keeps from having any issues. Um, I, I prefer look but don't touch pets. Um, and that goes for myself, but that goes for other people. I prefer for other people not to be touching my pets uh, without my permission. So uh, this is one of those situations where I say, oh, no, she'll, she'll, she'll tear you up. She'll bite, you know, uh, even if she's the friendliest iguana I can tame down. Uh, I'm still going to say that just so the kids, because the kids, they play my game in here all the time. So I don't want them even getting the idea of, oh, well, this one he didn't say is dangerous. So I'm going to come over to it. Um, and next thing you know. I got a dead iguana, uh, finger bitten off of a kid, or my entire setup has been destroyed, or someone done got burnt, or, you know, it's just so many, yeah, you know, what is factors. Uh, someone, done, you know, someone then accidentally gave the iguana meat, you know, just some, it's crazy shit. Um, you know, iguana dropped his tail, just, I don't want any of that, so. Um, yeah, I, I, that's another reason why she's in this far corner. Cause again, you have to walk all the way around my room just to get to this corner. I don't want you in this corner. Stay away from this corner. This is my iguana's corner. This is my room. This is my iguana's corner. So please, you know, I just don't want people messing with her. Uh, might just be me, but yeah, if you guys have any tips or anything, just let me know. Um, yeah, don't really care if you subscribe. Don't care if you like, you know, please comment though. Yeah, y'all have a nice day.